He is known for his strong influence in the study of Plato and Aristotle. He is recognized for his extensive research and critical edition of Aristotle's De Anima. He is Friedrich Adolf Trendelenburg. Friedrich Adolf Trendelenburg, a brilliant philosopher of the 19th century, embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration that would shape his life and leave a lasting impact on the world of philosophy. Born in Jutten, near Lübeck, he was immersed in the world of academia from a young age. Under the tutelage of George Ludwig Koenig, a philologist influenced by Immanuel Kant, Trendelenburg's passion for knowledge was ignited. As he delved deeper into his studies, Trendelenburg found himself drawn to the works of Plato and Aristotle. In his quest for a more accurate understanding of Platonic philosophy, he embarked on a doctoral dissertation titled, Platonis de Idees et Numerus Doctrina ex Aristotele Illustrata, in 1826. This scholarly endeavor aimed to reconcile Aristotle's criticisms and uncover a deeper knowledge of Plato's teachings. Rejecting a prestigious classical chair at Kiel, Trendelenburg chose a different path. He accepted a position as a tutor to the son of Karl von Stein zu Maltenstein, the Prussian Minister of Education. During his seven years in this role, he immersed himself in the preparation of a critical edition of Aristotle's De Anima, further expanding his understanding of ancient philosophy. In 1833, Trendelenburg's brilliance earned him the title of Extraordinary Professor in Berlin, a testament to his dedication and intellectual prowess. Four years later, he was promoted to an ordinary professorship, solidifying his place in the academic world. Throughout his life, Friedrich Adolf Trendelenburg's passion for philosophy and his relentless pursuit of knowledge was evident. His commitment to understanding the works of Plato and Aristotle and his contributions to the field of philosophy continue to inspire thinkers and learners to this day. Friedrich Adolf Trendelenburg, a renowned philosopher and educator, dedicated his life to teaching and promoting his philosophical principles. With a career spanning nearly 40 years, Trendelenburg achieved remarkable success as a teacher, earning the admiration of his peers and students alike. His reputation for excellence was exemplified by Soren Kierkegaard, who referred to him as, one of the most sober philosophical philologists I know. Trendelenburg's teaching method was highly regarded and respected. He possessed a deep understanding of philosophy and pedagogics, and his expertise allowed him to examine and evaluate aspiring educators in Prussia. For many years, he played a pivotal role in shaping the scholastic profession in his homeland, imparting his wisdom and knowledge to countless individuals who sought to follow in his footsteps. His impact extended beyond the borders of Prussia as well. In recognition of his contributions to the field, Trendelenburg was elected as a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1861. This prestigious honor further solidified his status as a respected figure in the academic world. Trendelenburg's influence extended not only to his contemporaries but also to future generations. Among his notable students were Franz Brentano and Wilhelm Dilthey, who went on to make their own significant contributions to philosophy. Trendelenburg's teachings and guidance laid the foundation for these scholars' intellectual journeys, shaping their understanding of philosophy and guiding them in their own philosophical pursuits. Today, Trendelenburg's philosophy continues to inspire and resonate with individuals seeking wisdom and guidance. His emphasis on sober philosophical analysis and his dedication to the pursuit of knowledge provide valuable lessons that can be applied in our daily lives. By embracing Trendelenburg's teachings, we can approach life's challenges with a thoughtful and analytical mindset, allowing us to navigate the complexities of the world with clarity and wisdom. Trendelenburg's philosophizing is deeply rooted in his admiration for the works of Plato and Aristotle. Rather than viewing them as opponents, he sees them as building upon the foundation of idealism. In fact, his own philosophical standpoint can be seen as a modern version of Aristotelianism. He rejects the idea of an absolute method or philosophy, as proposed by Hegel and others, and instead focuses on demonstrating the presence of the ideal in the real world. According to Trendelenburg, the process of philosophical inquiry should be analytic, starting from specific facts and gradually moving towards a universal understanding. While we can infer the system of the whole from the parts we know, the process of reconstruction remains approximate. He argues that there can never be a final system due to the inherent limitations of our position. Instead, he suggests that we should build upon the permanent results of historical developments rather than constantly starting anew. For Trendelenburg, the classical expression of these results can be found in the Platonico-Aristotelian system. The key philosophical question he poses is how thought and being are united in knowledge. He believes that like can only be known by like, leading him to develop a unique doctrine that plays a central role in his speculations. He identifies motion as the fundamental fact common to both being and thought. The actual motion of the external world corresponds to the constructive motion involved in every instance of perception or thought. 
While Trendelenburg acknowledges that matter can never be fully reduced to motion, he argues that the remaining irreducible aspect can be treated as an abstraction that we continuously approach but never fully reach, much like Aristotle's perspective. However, he also recognizes that the mechanical categories alone are insufficient to explain the facts of existence. He posits that the ultimate interpretation of the universe lies in the higher category of end or final cause. This categorization becomes the dividing line between philosophical systems. On one side, there are those who only acknowledge efficient causes, making force prior to thought and explaining the universe from a backward perspective. This perspective, exemplified by democratism, sees the parts of the universe as explained solely by efficient causes. On the other side, Trendelenburg aligns himself with an organic or teleological view of the world. This view interprets the parts through the idea of the whole and sees efficient causes merely as the vehicle for ideal ends. Trendelenburg's philosophical work, particularly his emphasis on the role of final cause and the teleological view of the world, offers insights that can be applied to our daily lives. It encourages us to consider the broader purposes and goals behind our actions and experiences. By recognizing that the parts of our lives can be understood through the idea of the whole, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Trendelenburg's philosophy reminds us to look beyond the surface and seek meaning and purpose in our daily endeavors. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.